To emboss or engrave text around a regular curve, you need to use a Boolean modifier and a way to deform the text to fit the curve. So let's just add some text. Add text. This will drop in a text object, which we can reposition where it needs to be. There's our text. Then we want to set up some basic properties for our text. So object data properties for the object itself. Here we can set its alignment. So this is important because we need the text to bend or warp uniformly. And that will be done around the origin point. So we need to shift the text appropriately. And for that, we use paragraph alignment, horizontal and vertical. So we set horizontal, center, vertical, center. And that essentially repositions the text. So if we drew a boundary around our object, the origin would be in the center of it. This ensures that the text deforms uniformly on all axes should we need to. What we can also do is change the font. So font, click on the folder, browse to a font, remembering that the more complex the font, the more complicated that will make the Boolean operation later. Now to change the text itself, we need to toggle into edit mode, backspace, and just type exit edit mode, toggle back into object mode. There's our text so we can rescale it. Rescale. And that is about all we need to do to the text object. Everything else will be done by modifiers. So that's what we've got so far. So next step is to convert this into a mesh. So select our text again, object, convert mesh. We want to convert this to a mesh object or an editable mesh. In the pop-up that appears in the corner, convert to, make sure keep original is selected so that we can always go back and edit if we need to, and that target is set to mesh. So that creates a mesh duplicate from our text, our original text object, which we can now hide, select our mesh, and then we can assign some modifiers. So modifier properties, first one, add modifier, solidify. This will give our mesh some depth Let's enable the wireframe so that we can see the complexity of the font. And then what we need to do next, modify properties again, we can either add a decimate modifier and this will reconstitute the mesh. Let's minimize that. This will reconstitute the mesh. We set this to planar and it'll rebuild the surfaces and tighten the mesh up a little bit. Or for curved surfaces, we can use a remesh modifier. So add modifier, remesh. And this will do a similar thing. It'll reconstitute the mesh, but from quads or faces. And for this, we want to set sharp, disable, remove disconnected, and then we need to increase the octree depth until our font appears correctly rendered, like so. So that sets up the basic structure of our object. What we need to do next is to add an object around which this text 
will deform. It's not the object that's going to be affected by the text, it's an, a separate object, and that is going to be an empty. So add empty. It can be any one because all we need is the axes of orientation that this provides us. So add empty and then an option. Arrows. So position this where it needs to be. And that is at the origin of the text object. The easiest way to do that is select the empty, shift click our text, and then object, snap, selection to active. So object, snap, selection to active. And so what we want to make sure is that the empty is orientated the correct way. Why? The y-axis should generally point backwards from our text. So long as that's the case, the text will correctly warp around the correct axis, which will be the z-axis. So now that we've got that in place, we can select our text, modifier properties again. This time we add modifier, simple deform. drop that in. The text will deform or warp slightly, just confirming the assignment. And then here we want a simple bend around the z-axis and we'll use the origin associated with our empty. So bend z or z-axis and then origin. We can either select it from the list or use the eyedropper and select it in the 3D viewport. That will select our object and we can see if we change the angle our text now bends around our shape. And finally for the boolean we select our object that's going to be affected by the text, add modifier, boolean. The object for this, or the target object, we can either select it again from the list or use the eyedropper and select the text. That sets it up as the object target. And then all we do, select our text and the empty. Just move those into position and it clips or booleans our object. So let's just hide that so we can see it. And there is the boolean text using a simple deform to wrap around a regular cylindrical or curved surface or shape. And again, emboss, engrave, intersect.